It's the best time of the month. It's time to go over the top 30 most upvoted and watched clips on the GTA Online subreddit. There's always some bangers on here, so if you enjoy a thumbs up, would be awesome. Subscribe for more stuff like this, and let's jump in. All right, at number 30, we have the Vanilla Gorilla. Hey, man, watch yourself. Watch yourself. There's, there's not room for that many gorillas in these streets, but let's see the clip. Always got the boys' backs. Okay, we're beating... We're beating up the car. We're just beating up the car. Okay. I'm gonna damage it. I don't really know why. What's this guy doing? <laughs> Some random guys just come up and start beating it as well. And a friendship was born. Don't kill him. Don't kill him. Okay, good. I thought he was going to kill him for a second. This is wholesome. Just all all grouping up to do some Grand Theft Auto. Some old-fashioned Grand Theft Auto. All right, at number 29 from Created a Curse, Not Today, Rockstar. What did Rockstar do to you? Whoa, okay, buddy. It's pretty much, like, widely known at this point that... The cars absolutely do try to take you out. That's ridiculous, though. He's come across... He's... He... Bro, just stay in your lane. What are you doing? Why? Why? <laughs> that guy was out for blood. Yeah, not today, Rockstar. Well done, man. Good dodge. Next up from Savage Caliber. This NPC just flexed on me for no reason. Man, I had no business being that sick. And the Kanjali. Three stars. Okay, civilian. I see you. I see you, bro. These civilians are wiling today, bro. What is this? We've had civilians trying to take someone out, and we've had civilians just popping six stunts. What is going on? Took that corner better than most players. Oh, actually true, though. That corner is rough. You just go flying off that edge every time. From Kubrick007. Pushing the Velum to the absolute limit against a pyro. And making it to Kai Barrico. Man, I hate the fact that Griefers... Uh, we're going to mute this, unfortunately. I, I hate the fact that uh, Griefers can quite literally grief you while you're just trying to fly to Kai Barrico. Okay, we got... This guy in a pyro... Because you don't... Do you lock on? I don't think you lock on to this. You can't lock on to the, uh, the Velum when you're doing this mission. Nice. Good job. Good job. Man, what's the point? I don't, I don't get it. What's the point? Like, what's that griefer trying to do? He's just trying to ruin someone's day. He, he would get nothing from that. He's just trying to kill this guy. Hey, what's up with that, man? Damn. Okay, before we get into the rest of the clips, I want to quickly shout out today's sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by Honey. Over the last year, I'm sure you've done a fair bit of shopping online. And whenever we check out, we see that promo code field. They're just taunting us. And we pretty much never have a code to actually enter in them because it's 2021. Who actually keeps those codes around? And thanks to Honey, manually searching for those codes is a thing of the past. Honey is the free online browser extension that scours the internet, finds the best code that can save you money, and applies it to your car. Honey supports over 30,000 stores online, ranging from tech stores, gaming stores, fashion, even food delivery, which I've probably been ordering a bit too much of lately. So here's how it works. Imagine you're shopping at one of your favorite sites. When you go to the checkout, the Honey button is going to drop down, and all you have to do is click Apply Coupons. Easy as that. Wait a few seconds as Honey searches for coupons, and if they find a working one, you'll watch the prices drop. Honey has found its over 17 million members over $2 billion in savings. So if you don't already have Honey installed, you're straight up just missing out on savings. It's literally free and it installs in only a few seconds and by getting it, you'll be doing yourself a solid and supporting my channel as well. So get Honey for free at joinhoney.com slash TGG. Again, that's joinhoney.com slash TGG and thank you to Honey for sponsoring today's video. Okay, next up from JN Barnes 14 how fast does this thing go? We're in the, uh, the ultralight. Yeah, we're in the ultralight. He's actually moving really quick. Judging by the map. Whoa, what? Bro, he's almost out. He's almost above Mount Chiliad already? 
Yo, what's going on? I need to read these comments. What the hell? How is he going that fast? Wait, what? I'm going to have to fire up GTA just to test this. Edit. It really is that fast. Are you serious? How did he do this? So just at high altitudes, it's incredibly quick. Well, I learned something new today. That's actually really, really cool. From Captain Rhino, did you know you can blind fire an RPG? You know you can blind fire an RPG? <laughs> <laughs> yes, you can, but uh, I don't think you should. You know what I mean? Yeah, this guy. Can you? Yes, recommended to do so? No. No, that seems like a dangerous activity. Uh, unlucky, bro. <laughs> unlucky. From Potato Nate. Lol, I get this is I guess this is what I deserve for being friendly. Yeah, I mean being friendly in GTA Online, that's a big risk. That is a big risk. Okay, honking the horn. Friends? No. Friends? No? Okay. No. No. Not friends. Yeah, man. Uh, unfortunately, this is not a game where people like to help each other out. And the odd occasion where someone does help someone out, it's, uh, it's like on the subreddit. Literally, it's that rare that people post it on the subreddit. So, uh, unlucky. From uh, Cheese the Good. I try to race clean, but I give what I get. Okay. Ah, that corner is rough, to be fair. But that was pretty toxic. Yeah, get him back, man. Yeah, screw that guy. <laughs> oh, he's right at the end. He's on the last lap as well. Oh, that guy would be a bit tilted, but he absolutely deserved that. Man, yeah. I, I can understand that guy sort of bumping him out, wanting to get first, but it is really toxic. But he got what he deserved in the end. All right, from Noob8, he immediately left after that. After what? We're in the cargo bob, and, uh... Old mate in the jet... For some reason wants to kill us. No way a cargo bomb beats a jet, man. Oh, yep. Yeah. yeah, yeah, plenty of time to ult F4. Close out. Close out. Quick, don't let anyone see, bro. Oh, I was delivering something as well. I didn't even notice. So he was just trying to grief. But well, there's still time. Close out. Don't let anyone see what you did. From Jamal, when you play with enough low levels... You know what's to be expected. Tell me about it, bro. Tell me about it. Alright, we're doing pack standard. Got all the boars. All the boars. Okay. You guys got the Widowmaker out. Jeez. No, 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 the door in the RPG never end well. No, 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 I knew as soon as I saw him pull out that RPG, bro. The RPG and that door do not mix. They don't mix. Ah. He learned the hard way. Damn. Gabriel Phoenix, don't destroy people's work. Help them out, yeah? They'll be grateful. Is this a wholesome clip? Oh, no. Yeah, he's really wedged in there, isn't he? Come on, bro. A, a true hero. Look at this guy. Very nice. Is he going to kill you now? He's not. Oh, that's actually just a wholesome clip. Nicely done, man. See what I mean, though? Whenever someone's actually nice... It just gets upvoted on the Reddit. Cause this is such a rare occurrence in GTA Online. Two people being nice to each other. It's pretty crazy. Oh, we got another low-level clip from Donkfin. Fleecer with new players. Oh, man. If you haven't seen my starting as a level 1 in 2021 series, it's, uh, it's rough. If you like seeing me suffer with new players, give that a watch. I know this pain all too well. So we're playing some Snake. A fleecer. Fleecer job. Where are we going to be? We're going to be like in the water or something. Oh, we're just blown up. H how? How? How do you blow up an armored Karuma though? 
Maybe he drove it into the, the gas station on the right here or something. Man, these low levels never cease to amaze me. Oh, it's, it's pretty simple, isn't it? Just drive to the bank. Anyway, all right. Uh, looks like the cutting powder isn't the only thing poisoning the water supply. I'm surprised people still actually do this. It's like, it's a cool feature to weaken the guards, but they all die in one headshot anyway. It's not really that worth it. I wish it kind of was. Yeah, you're down. See you, buddy. Yep. Close them up. Poison the water supply even more. I think that's the second clip we've seen like that over the past few months. All right, from Potato Nate. Well, that was rude. Potato Nate, is this your second clip in here? All right, we've got a car mate. People really don't use the LS car mate, hey. Oh, no. <laughs> That was kind of rude, but it was also really funny. Uh, nah, that was, nah, it wasn't funny. Nah, it wasn't funny. That was just rude, man. Okay, from Two Shoes 77 shooting down seven jet griefers in one go. Seven jet griefers. Okay, let's see. That's one. Nice. Good aim. Good aim. That's two. Well done. Jesus. That's three. How many people are in this lobby? Like, how many jets? Can you imagine trying to sell cargo in this lobby? That's four. Well done. We're at four already. What idiot would try and sell in this? This is mayhem. Oh, he's smoking now. Come on. How many you got left? That's four, right? You got three more? Three more to kill? Come on, bro. I believe. I believe. Oh, that guy ejected. Uh, we'll count that as a win. We'll say that's five. Oh, that was it. Okay, well, we missed We missed two of them. But that, uh, that lobby is crazy, man. XXX Curly Bay. Why be an asshole? Oh, we're delivering the truck to the music locker. These missions are rough, man. These missions are really rough. Oh, we got the oppressor coming in behind us. You can see him on the mini map. Come on, come on. Shots. Yeah, nice. Good aim. Good aim. Well done. Well done. Why? Uh, yeah, I'm not even going to try and understand why people try to grief anymore. It's, uh, yeah. Anyway. To the people who asked if you can stealth this prep with an RPG, here you go. Okay, this is the Kaiparico weapons prep. This is actually the best one. This is way better than flying all the way across the map to the Avenger. That one sucks. So we're just... Yeah, we're just RPGing all of them. True. I guess, like, they, they don't hear the explosions, or... They just got AirPods in, that's all. He can't hear you, he's got AirPods. Yeah, like, bro, can you not hear the explosions and see the fire and see all your friends dying all around you? What's going on, man? This guy's just vibing in here, has not heard a single thing. And now he just gets direct impacted with an RPG, man. Okay. Well, I've been using a suppressor for those missions. I guess I don't need to do that anymore. From the real Neon, what the hell? What are we, what the hell on about, bro? 179, congrats. Close to 200. This guy doesn't have a... Whoa! Dude, what? I thought we were, we were just talking about the guy that doesn't have a shirt, has an invisible chest, but... Then all these cars just start blowing up. What the hell happened back there? And this is on console too, so that probably isn't a modder. Jeez. What the hell, Rockstar? Bowling alley screens be like? Yeah, actually true. True. All right, from SWAD or SWAD42. I'll try to be more careful next time. This guy's game is so bright. It looks good. What the hell? Yo, he's getting sucked in a tornado, bro. <laughs> what is that? That'll fail the mission too. Yeah. Oh, rough. 
So what happened here? He killed the guy in the back by the looks of it, and his body glitched out like in the side of the vehicle, which for some reason just sent it flying into space. Okay, makes sense. Makes sense, sure. Sure. From cinematic series, The Evolution of Entering Fort Zancudo, 2013 to 2021. Let's see. Okay, we've got some cinematic shots I like. Alright, yep, the old school adder. That's how we got in, yep. 2014, okay, we, we've upgraded to the Zentorno. The Zentorno kind of became the more popular vehicle in 2014. 2015, we're in the armored Karuma because it was pretty much the only bulletproof car. Simpler times, man. Simpler times, eh? December 2016, we've got the rocket vehicles coming in, the kind of futuristic stuff. We've got the rocket Baltic. We can take a different path. Okay. January 2017, we got the Ruiner. Okay, I don't remember this strat. That's creative. June 2017, we got the Oppressor Mark 1. We had the uh, rocket car with the rocket Baltic. Now we got the rocket bike. You can go in from the front, actually. True. You don't need to go all the way around the back. September 2017. We got a jet. We've had jets the whole time. Oh, no. We're going to a hangar. Yeah, we had hangars, right? So now you can literally just fly in there and not get a wanted level. December 2017. Deluxo. We just got flying cars now. Just fly in. Don't worry about it, man. Just fly in. August 2018. There it is. There she is. Man, this has already been in the game for for three years? Over three years. Jeez. August 2018, we got the scramjet, and it only gets crazier from there. Then here we got July 2021, where everyone's breaking in with the new tuners vehicles. GTA is sort of going back to its roots, which I really like. Futuristic vehicles make things easier, but it just doesn't really fit GTA, you know what I mean? Hey, good video. Good video. That was, that was good to watch. Uh, from Jamal. Wait for it. Alright. Just finished Doomsday Act 3, which is actually pretty tough, so congrats. 1.2 mil. Not bad. Not great, not bad. Uh, only 15% cut. That's rough. Okay, elite challenge. Under 30, nobody gets wasted. Good. Zero hacks failed. Good. 150 headshots. 100... Yeah, bro. <laughs> oh, that's tough. Ah, oh, bro. 149 out of 150 headshots. Because you don't accidentally get 149 headshots. You were trying to do the elite challenge. Oh, that's rough. Knowing how tough that can be. That finale. Like, it's hard enough for most people just to, to finish that without dying. Or finish that in under 30 minutes. But man, to come one headshot short, that's rough. I feel for you. I feel for you, man. All right, from Rastafire, not all of us are AFK. What are we doing? Got a guy coming near us on the mini-map. What's he doing? He's buying ammo. So he's pretending to be AFK. Or he's... Yeah, well, really, he's just buying ammo. He's not even pretending to be AFK. He's just buying ammo. But this guy probably thinks he's AFK. Yeah, he knows. Yeah. Yeah, see you, buddy. Come on, win that! Oh, he just won that gunfight. As soon as he got out of the car, you knew he was about to unload. Hey, good job. Good job. This guy's just trying to go around killing AFK players, man. That's... Hey, that's not cool. Not cool. All right, from Roly Poly Oli. It may not be the best strategy, but by golly, it works. All right, we're doing the, uh, the contract missions. Oh, so you just run. Just run and spam snacks, eh? Oh my god, look at his health bar going. He's close to dying a few times now. And he's out of snacks. Run! 
Run! Switch to body armor! Switch to body armor! Come on! Come on! Come on! Dude, what do you reckon those cops are thinking? Those cops are probably so confused. As if that strat works, though. Speedrunners are just going to be doing this constantly. Yeah. Because snacks are free as well. They're only like a dollar before anyway, but you know. All right, next up. From Furious George. Heaven forbid my boat gets wet. Doing the long fin setup. You're kidding. Seriously? Seriously? Seriously, it's a boat. It's a boat, Rockstar. Yeah, you got you got robbed there, man. That that sucks. That sucks. Alright, F you, Lester. Why? What did he do now? Man, he's limping, you're making the poor guy walk. <laughs> you're gonna make him walk all the way there? This is a whole different level of torture. Instead of just killing him or running him over with a car or something, you're gonna make him walk all the way there. He doesn't have his walking stick or anything, man. Yeah, screw Lester anyway. He takes way too much of a cut on the casino heist, bro. You can walk. Alright, next up. Get Chrome, they said. It'll be fun, they said. I've never seen a Chrome Night Shark, actually, to this. It's a first for everything. Jesus, dude. I'm getting flashbanged over here, man. Hey, get Chrome, you don't even need to see your vehicle. You can just see a big, like, bright circle in the middle of your screen instead of a car. Jeez. You wouldn't want to watch, the, you wouldn't want that to happen when you're playing in a dark room. It'd just light up your whole room. You'd get completely flashbanged. I see nothing wrong here. Actually, I just can't see anymore. Yeah. You can quote unquote stealth the Kaya weapons prep with a minigun. I think this is the same guy, so he's doing it with a minigun now. And you really think they would hear it, eh? You know, it's, it's, um, kind of weird. I feel like the old Rockstar would have, would have made sure that this sort of isn't a thing. There's lots of little things in GTA Online where it's like, man, this was a real oversight by Rockstar. And this is probably one of those things, eh? Yeah, I mean, look, cool you can do it. You shouldn't be able to do that, though. That's really dumb. But uh, hey, congrats for doing it. From Frank W. Doom, it, almost, it takes almost no water to operate a boat. Yes, this is actually true. You can, like, drive it up these mountains. Through these tiny little rivers. Which makes absolutely no sense. Yeah, it, it literally just needs the tiniest bit of water and the boat just says, Yep, that's enough for me. Let's keep going. Bro, he's gonna go all the way up the mountain. This would almost be faster than a car. So where does this water actually come from as well? It just starts coming out of the ground. There's no... Yeah, there's no... There's no drainage tunnel or anything there. There's no rain. Just water appearing out of... Out of the ground. True. True. Cool clip though. Okay, at number two from Geezer Films. I saw a player trapped in a store and instead of helping him, I filmed him instead. I do believe I deserve that punch. What is this? Another player has been trapped inside a store. <laughs> it's a David Attenborough documentary. Oh, will he is strong? <laughs> this is brilliant, dude. This is awesome. Wait, don't look at me like that. <laughs> you can tell. That's his friend. He's like, dude, what are you doing? Shut up. Shut up. I full vid in the comments. I kind of actually wanna kind of wanna watch this. Where is it? Where's the video in the comments? Well, if someone could find this video in the comments, watch it, because that would actually be really funny. Alright, at number one from Jojo MC, saw a low level in a bad situation. Tends to happen a, a fair bit, honestly. Yeah, he's really got himself in a pickle here, hasn't he? How how have you done that? 
how do you end up in that situation? It's a plane, bro. How do you get a plane stuck like that? That's the way. Up and atomizer, I'm out of here. Push him up the hill. Come on, plane. Come on, Velum. Come on. Come on. Come on. Boost him. There we go. One more, maybe. Oh, is that it? I think he's good. He's good. He's good. We did it. Well done. Well done. That's some great sportsmanship. See what I mean, though? Anytime anyone's nice to someone in this game, it pops up on the subreddit. That's how rare this is. And there he is, off on his way. Imagine if he just crashed it, because he's a low level and doesn't know how to fly yet. Hey, that's a deserving number one, because that was really wholesome, and we need more people like that in the community. So I'll uh, wrap it up there. If you enjoyed, a thumbs up would be awesome. Subscribe for more stuff like this. Thank you to Honey for sponsoring today's video as well. Hope you stand safe, and I'll see you in the next video. Boys!